Welcome back to Animated Times. Joe Todd with you. Today, we're going to talk about Don't Compare Crisis on Infinite Earths to Avengers Endgame. We're days away from the beginning of Crisis of Infinite Earths, the biggest crossover yet for the CW's Arrowverse of shows. The Four Night Five episode event is set to take Arrow, The Flash, Supergirl, Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, and a ton of other DC TV properties to new heights, as the fate of the multiverse as we know it hangs in the balance. Even before Crisis has begun, the event has drawn comparisons to another franchise-defining event that debuted in 2019, Marvel's Avengers Endgame. Both events definitely have a similar kind of every hero united together kind of feel, and the pending fates of Oliver Queen, Green Arrow, Stephen Amell, and Barry Allen, The Flash, Grant Gustin, feel slightly reminiscent of the endings of Endgame gave to Iron Man and Captain America. In a new interview with Entertainment Weekly crossover showrunner Mark Gunningham addressed those comparisons and gave an interesting metaphor to describe the two events differences. I'd say certainly for Barry and Oliver, there is an emotional denouement that is reminiscent of Endgame. Gunningham explained, Endgame is an exclamation point. Crisis is a semicolon. It's easy to see where Gunningham is coming from, especially with regard to potential deaths of Oliver and Barry. Oliver's death and the fact that Arrow is coming to an end has added a bit more finality to the proceedings right out of the gate. But the cast and crew have reassured that things are more nuanced than that. The good news, unlike Game of Thrones or unlike Lost, we're not burdened with having to answer a question. Gunningham told ComicBook.com earlier this year, we're not burdened with who's going to sit on the Iron Throne or what was the island. So we get to do, I think, a much more character-based ending. So at the same time, the complication for us is that we also have Crisis, and I think a lot of stuff that was always in my head in terms of how to end the show, we're now actually going to end up doing in the crossover instead. So it's now that does the series finale become. But you know, we've got plans. I've been really excited about it. The goal is to make it satisfying for the fans, but the good news is for us, we don't have the challenges that Lost or Game of Thrones had, he continued. We also don't have the ratings, so there's that too. But I feel the pain of Damon, Benioff, and Wise, it's hard. And it's a hard thing to do in a way that satisfies everyone. I also think, because I've been thinking on how does one end a series, there's what the initial reaction to something is, and then there's how it stands the test of time, and those two things are not always the same. In addition to Arrow, The Flash, Batwoman, Supergirl, The Legends of Tomorrow, the epic event will feature characters from across the DC multiverse. At the same time of this writing, these will include Smallville's Welling and Erica Durant's Black Lightning's uh, Cress Williams, Stargirl's Breck Basinger, uh, Birds of Prey Ashley Scott, Batman's Burt Ward, uh, and legendary voice actor Kevin Conroy. Are you excited to check out the CW's Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover? Share your thoughts to us in the comments below and make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe for more awesome content from Animated Times.